Hey guys, this is Zoe. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a drugstore makeup look. Now, I filmed this before, but I really didn't like it, so I just wanted to come back and do it again because I felt like I could do something better than what I did. So basically, everything we're going to be using today is basically drugstore except a few things. I'll let you know what a few things those are. But if you guys want to see what I come up with in this drugstore tutorial, just keep on watching. Okay. First, of course, after we've moisturized our skin, then we're going to go in with primer. I don't currently have a drugstore primer. Um, all the drugstore products that I'm using today are um, things I actually have had um, from the drugstore. Um, but I'm going to just go in with my Becca Ever Matte. And a good equivalent to this, a good equivalent to this primer is the Neutrogena, I think, Shine Control one. It's in a gray bottle. I really like it because it just mats up my T-zone. I'm very um, oily in my T-zone. Okay, so what I'm gonna be using today is the Wet n Wild Brow Pencil. It's 89 cents, it's very affordable, and I definitely use this um, and put it in my makeup bag when I forget my other eyebrow pencil at home. Also, another good equivalent, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's still under the $10 range, is the ColourPop Brow Pencils, which I've mentioned in hauls previously this is my favorite but if I don't have this I go to this so they're both good um, yeah so we're gonna go in with that and the color I have is dark brown and we're just gonna go in with the brows and I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closely so you guys can see what I'm doing all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and LA Girl Pro Conceal um, in the color, I believe this is Fawn. I, it rubbed off, I use it so much. I literally use it every day for my brows. And I use the uh, lighter shade underneath and then the, um, the color Chestnut on the top or I'll use my foundation color and go on the top just to clean them up. Next, I'll be going in with the CoverGirl Healthy Vitals Elixir in the color 775. This is a great foundation, though. You can find it at Walmart, Ulta, any type of drugstore, Walgreens, any type of drugstore like that, CVS, Rite Aid. You can find this foundation there. It's very good. I like it. It's full coverage, and it's, it's it makes your skin look healthy. Like I said, all these products we're using today are from the drugstore. So. thing we're going to be using um, to conceal is going to be the uh, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer. They have a lot of good um, products for very low prices. Um, it's very comparable, I would say, to Morphe, just with how low their products are. And when I mean low, I mean like this is $3. This concealer is $3 and it's comparable to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I know what some of y'all know what that is. Like, 
it's bomb. So I definitely would check out BH Cosmetics and Morphe as far as for affordable concealers, eyeshadows, all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dot this under my under eye. You have to be very careful with this just due to the fact it's very full coverage. So we're just going to place the lightest amount. So next we're going to take this Real Technique sponge. You can get it at any drugstore, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, any Ulta, Sephora. You can't get them at Sephora, but um, you can find them at any drugstore. And basically, we're going to go ahead and blend this concealer out. I know this may look a little light. Don't let it scare you. Please don't let it scare you. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with um, contour, and I'm gonna use um, this Black Radiance uh, contour palette in medium to dark. It's less than ten dollars at Walmart, and I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal. And then to set the under eye, what I'm going to do is take the um, RCMA no, color powder and set my under eye. But I'm still looking kind of ghostly right now. And I don't know. I think I grabbed the wrong. I grabbed the wrong concealer shade. Lord. I grabbed 113 instead of 117. But it's okay. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken it up a little bit under my under eye with my um, ColourPop. No filter concealer in deep 70 and these are six dollar concealers so because i don't not want to look like a ghost i mean i don't have anywhere to go but i don't want you guys to feel like oh my god what is she doing <laughs> so we're just gonna blend that out i actually use the color pop ones more than the the bh I use the BH when I'm, I use the BH 117 when I have like a lot of stuff I'm trying to cover up. That's looking so much better, right guys? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the correct shade. We're gonna take the correct shade we're gonna take the correct shade now and just do a little bit just to lighten back up the under eye. Sorry about that. I did not realize I had the wrong shade until it was too late. So when I used that 113 shade, I literally used a dot. Cause as you can see how light it was, and I was looking so sleep. I had to go to my bathroom and I'm like, what in the world did I just do? So now, now that that's blended out, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the no, the RCMA No Color Powder, which is $12, but it's a great setting powder to use underneath the eyes. Um, you can also use the Airspun Powder just to bake that under eye area. So we're gonna take that and go right underneath our, where we had our concealer. And don't be afraid, I know it's white. 
but it does help um, oil control and it's translucent so even if you feel like you have white cast I'm gonna show you how um, show you how to if you're not comfortable with it get it even color So I have done one eye off camera. I'm going to um, be using this Morphe 3502 palette. It's very affordable. It's $22 um, on Morphe.com. And they do sell it in Ulta now, so you can get your hands on Morphe products there. Um, I'm going to take this shade right here um, and put that into my crease. I've already done one eye off of camera, as you can tell. Okay. Once that's all nice and blended in that crease color, then I'm going to take then I'm going to take this shade right here. It's like a um a berry shimmer shade and I'm going to pop that right onto my lid with my finger, my broken nail. Oh, I break nails like nothing. I'm just pop that all over my lid real quick. And then I'm gonna go in with this black shade here. It did come with um, names on the shadows, but I think that paper is somewhere in my bathroom. So I'm going to take that black and just go in my outer corner here. And then I'm going to blend it out using this brush that I... used to go with my crease. Just blend it out. I did get a little messy with that, but... Now what we're going to be doing is um, lining our top line with black liner, um, black liquid liner. And the liquid liner I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio. And we're just going to line our top line so um, we can put our lashes. Or you don't have to wear lashes um, at all if you don't want to. But um, I'm going to show you a drugstore brand of lashes. So let's go ahead and line our top line. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and apply mascara to those top eyelashes. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I am using the um, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and it's by L'Oreal. It's a um, great equivalent to uh, Too Faced, better than Sex Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and brush away off all the powder that is on my face, but like I said, since we're using a white translucent powder, we don't have to, well, you could just brush it off like this simply, but what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to brush it off like that, but I'm going to use some of my um, BH Cosmetics Matte Powder just to, um, you know, bring some more warmth back to my face. So. And as I'm doing that, it's wiping away the white powder.
make sure you get all the white powder from underneath your under eyes because if you don't that's when you have flashback and you don't want that in your photos I know you don't thank you very much so get all that from under there I mean even if you need to take a smaller brush just get in there actually put this I actually use this powder to touch up my face um, throughout the day if I really need to if I'm really oily and I just blot and put this on. It looks like I had a fresh face of makeup, so I definitely recommend that. I'm gonna be using the Salon Perfect um, 615s. Um, these are, I think, $8 for five pairs, so it's a great price, and they look very natural. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pop on these lashes and fix my eyebrows, and I'll be right back. So I put one eyelash on. I didn't put the other one on because it's not working with me right now. It's, just kidding, my eyes watering. But um, pretty much you don't have to put on lashes. That's just kind of up to you. Um, I have these lashes on um, just because, you know, they're a drugstore brand and you definitely could use them. Ardell is a good brand as well. Um, so next, um, I fixed my brows. I'll put on the other eyelash later. But let's go ahead and just um, do a little bronzy, bronzy contour of the face. And I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Queen Collection um, color in Ebony Bronze. This is one of my favorites. I know they carry it at CVS. I don't know where else they carry it at anymore. They don't carry it at Walmart anymore. But you can get it on Amazon. Or you can, um, as long as you find a shade darker than you, you'll be fine. Darker than you. Darker than your skin tone. Okay, now that we're all bronzed up, the next thing we're gonna do is one of my favorite things to do is have that. Okay, I'm not doing that again, sorry. Okay, what I'm gonna use is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in um, Molten Gold. This is one of the best highlighters out there on the market right now. Um, it's less than $10 and it's beautiful on a lot of um, women of color. And I'm telling you, if you don't have it, go get it. Also, another good one also as well is the mango highlighters from wet and wild they are three dollars wonderful so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to use this in my inner corner and i'm going to use this on my cheeks i love inner corner highlights i think they're just amazing so take a small little brush take that and pop it right there It definitely gives your eyes a little something, like a little, ooh, like your face is beat, but they don't know that you're using drugstore makeup products, you feel me? In my waterline, I just put the Maybelline Eye Studio, the gel liner, and the black is black been using this for years I love it it's really so good a little goes a long way so next we're gonna go in is blush and I'm going to be using the elf um, blush palette is six dollars and you get four shades oh lord <laughs> you get four shades here and this is I believe the dark blush palette they have light and dark I think they might have medium now but um, I know those are the shade that's what I got so I'm gonna take this far shade up here and put that on my cheeks I might mix it with that one too just depending on how pink it is
thing is the highlight, our favorite part. So I'm just going to taking a highlighting brush and swirling my brush in there and I'm just going to go ahead and this is with that Maybelline Molten Gold. Now that I'm done highlighting and stuff like that, I'm going to go ahead with the liquid lipstick to finish off the look. Um, I'm going to be using Ariba from ColourPop, which is $6. Also, you can, um, Wet n Wild has some really good, um, um, lipsticks as well. This is kind of the one I had on hand. So, since it is red, I'm going to, um, line my lips with a liner. That's not drugstore, but it's okay. Right. It's a dark purple liner. Y'all know I love this liner. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But Jordana has some really good lip liners. And so does and then Elf has a really good look with lipstick. So, this is a red, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it, guys. So, just dotting Ariba in the inner rim. Here. Him. And then... What is going on here? What is going on? Just over here, mess it up. I don't know where that went left, but it sure did. Finally, I think this is as good as it's gonna get, but now that we're done with our face, Sorry, that took like five minutes just to fix my lips. We're gonna take our setting spray here, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set, and we're gonna just go ahead and set our face. This is a drugstore setting spray, and I really like it. I've had it. I really like it. I've had it for a long time, so we're gonna just go ahead and finish this look off, and we'll be done. This is the final look using all drugstore products, except for like two. Yeah. Except for like two. Um, the Morphe, I, like I said, is inexpensive. It's definitely considered um, in the drugstore range. Um, and if you don't know what drugstore means, drugstore means is it's just not as high end as expensive as talking about 30, 35 up type deal. I hope you guys like this video. I'll have everything down in the description bar if you want to know what I used. You don't have to break the bank. Um, to beat your face down. You don't have to do that. You can just go to the drugstore. They have some great finds at the drugstore and you can just, you can look, you can slay just as hard as people who buy expensive makeup. So I go in between expensive and drugstore and like I said, all the products used today in this video, I actually had them all in my collection. I didn't have to buy one thing. So I love you guys so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends um, this video. I really appreciate your support and the love. And just let me know down there what you guys want to see for the next videos. Um, I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget, stay beautiful. Bye.